Hey y'all, it's Tasha, aka Jim the Butterfly, aka Mama Jim. I should have said Mama Jim first. It's called Mama Jim Tarot, ain't it? Either way, it's all still the same. It's still me. I just want to say thank you to everyone who have been um, liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Um, I've been receiving very, very positive feedback. Um, and a lot of support and I just appreciate it all I love you back um, I know that this is truly what I'm supposed to be doing and I am just a new I can't even describe it it's like a new a newfound energy that has just taken over positive the world seems brighter with me doing this and me sharing this gift to the world so I just say thank y'all. This video is for uh, September Lord, Scorpio. <laughs> for Scorpio, November 15th through the 21st, the week of 2015. This is a general reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's See, you hear those sounds? That's another activity. I'm going to just leave it on there. I just, I'm just i just dumbfounded and surprised, but yet thankful. You know what I mean? So it's just it's just amazing to me. Um, anyway, this is for your sun, moon, rising sign. Um, you can go back to my other videos, and I can add you some information about how to get to it. Um, let's just get into it. Oh, yeah, follow me. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, Jim, G E M the Butterfly, underscore Tarot. And this is for Scorpio. I'm drawing three cards, y'all. I got some Isley Brothers playing in the back. Yeah. Hold on. Paper, we alive. Let's see. Let's see what we got for the Scorpio chair and for the week. Hold on, babies. Let's see. Scorpio. Is that you, Scorpio? Let me show y'all the cards. Hold on. Yeah, Scorpio. Three cards. I just want to let y'all know I love this. This is a I love this wig. I just want to say that. Anyway. Eight of Swords. By the middle of the week, the Hangman. By the end of the week, you have the Six of Swords. So, let me turn this down just a little bit, Scorpios. What I feel like for this upcoming week, I would say expect Expect the week to feel a little gloomy. I'm sorry to say that, but it's okay. I, you know, it's kind of like a, a light foggy day. You know, that, that fog that, I'm not talking about that thick fog that you really can't see a foot in front of you. I'm talking about that light hazy fog. You know what I'm saying? That that light gray, just you can see in this, the, the morning is just kind of wet. And it's, that's, that's, that's how you're going to be entering the week. You may even be feeling that way right now, but that's what I'm feeling like. <clears throat> Everything's just kind of foggy right now. And you, you just seem like you can't find your way out. Now, one of the other reasons why I say that is because just look at all the, co the colors on the cards for this week, Scorpio. You know, you just... It's just not, you're just not, you're not going to be feeling up to par. Um, just feeling kind of in limbo. And whatever this, you don't like feeling this way. You're going to, um, by the, the middle of the week, the answer is going to come to you. Well, you're going to be, well, I'll say this, you'll be searching for the answers because this has become too overwhelming for you let's just say it like that you know I don't really um, I'm not really sure if this is a, a 
I don't feel like this is a, this could possibly be a relationship situation. But the way I feel about this, though, this is just like your whole life. Seriously, like this is just how you're feeling in general about everything because I'm, we're talking about thoughts here, you know? And with, you know, with the hangman, he's thinking, he's suspending himself. He gave himself up to the moment and he's just, he's waiting. You know, I'm pretty sure he's not waiting there blank. He's thinking about something. So that's what I feel like what you're going to be doing by the middle of the week. You're just going to be giving it up saying, you know what? Something has to give. Um, I do see you by the end of the week. I'm, this is a moving card. I don't really feel like, excuse me, my throat is hurting a little bit. Um, I don't necessarily see this as an actual physical move, although it could be. It could be. But I don't see it as a moving card this time. I see it more as a change in your thought pattern. Whatever's going to happen, I would say that sometime between Tuesday and Thursday, maybe even going into Friday, um, something, I'm not going to say something's going to be revealed to you, but what I, what it is so strange, I feel like this is how you're going to be feeling when you're hanging suspended. Okay. Let me explain what I'm saying. He is doing this effortlessly okay he is hanging by one foot upside down with his hands behind his back blood is rushing to his head and he's chilling you feel what i'm saying and so what i feel like this by the end of the week you're still going to be in the hangman phase but now you're just chilling you see what i'm saying you're headed off to peaceful waters. You've already given it up. You've given it up to God or whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in. You've given it up to the spirits. You've given it up to the ancestors to handle this for you. You realize whatever this thing is, is greater than you. And so you have given yourself up. You have sacrificed yourself to the moment. <clears throat> and because you, and this is also to me like a let go card. You just let it go. You just let go of all these feelings of feeling trapped to feeling, you know, I feel like some for you, some of y'all, y'all just are not happy with your job. <clears throat> this could be a work situation. I do see it like that. I don't know if it could possibly refer to a uh, relationship only because we do have a man and a woman here and we do have a couple heading off someplace. Um, but usually when you look at this card in the, in the traditional tarot deck, it's this man is just kind of like the conductor of the boat. He's he's taking the mother and the child somewhere. I don't ever, somebody, you know, leave me a comment, but I don't ever remember it saying that he, him and this woman was connected. I could be wrong, but either way, I'm not seeing it like that today. I mean, in a relationship, yeah, possibly, you know, this is the couple and they have their baby and they're moving away. So it could be a possible relationship situation. Um, but this could, I very well can see this as a job, overall, just life in general. And it's like, I'm telling you, once you decide, you know what? I'm tired of feeling this way. Everything that I've tried has not worked. I've always managed to revert back to these ways that I know are not benefiting me. And I seem like I keep ending up in the same spot. Now, the important thing to remember about this card is that she could break herself free if she wants to. And that's what, that's, that's what I feel like that's by the middle of the week. That's what the hangman is telling you that you can break your own self free of this thing. You know, there, there's a couple of more things that you just haven't tried yet. And one of them is letting shit go. <laughs> you have to let shit go. And I think that's what this, cause you know, this is right. Something you just going to be like, I see a lot of y'all like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just so tired of this shit. Like I said, I'm so tired of it. I'm going to just give it up to God. I, I, you know, what will be, will be. 
I, you have prepared yourself for whatever answer that comes, whatever, you know, whatever the next day, you know that, you know, you're just going to live, right? He has no other choice but to be present in the moment right now. What else? I mean, he can, he can think about some things, but I mean, I just see him there waiting. And as he's waiting, he's okay. You know what I mean? Because he knows that it's not the end. This is not the end. He knows one day this answer is going to come. But it's almost as if in this situation, he doesn't even realize that him being so peaceful waiting on the answer is the answer. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Because as soon as he, he realizes that, like, wait a minute, hold on. All I had to do was just stop thinking about all that stuff. Because I realize constantly thinking about whatever this thing is, is not working for you. And so once you let all the all of those feelings go, those ruminating feelings and thoughts go, and you just realize, you know what, I'm going to just be right here. And when it's time, I you know, I know that I'll be protected and I know that I'll get up and I will continue on my journey. But for right now, let me just focus right here. Because again, even though he's, he's focused, there is grayness around him. So this to me says, you know, he's not clear about what he's doing, but he's okay with it. And that that's what it's telling you, that you got to be okay with, with feeling like you don't know what you're doing right now. You're being worked on. Okay? You're being worked on. You're being transformed. We are under the moon of, of Scorpio. Not moon, the sun of Scorpio right now. You're being transformed, Scorpios. <laughs> you're being transformed. And once you're able to let whatever these thoughts are, whatever they are, just know that they can be fixed. And you're going to be finding some peace towards the end of the week. So that's what I meant by in the, in the, in the, um, in the video earlier when I said that um, it's not a, a definite move. It could, for some people, represent a, a physical move. But I feel like this is a move to a better place in your mind. So that's a positive thing. So, you know, it's so crazy. Like I said, when you look at the cards, you never know. Looking at this, you're like, oh, God. <laughs> you know, at first glance. But, yeah, this is encouragement right here. This is positivity right here. This is peace. Look at this. See, look, you only have just a little bit of troubled water right here. Look at all this still water. That's what it's saying. You're going to have more peace than trouble right now, than troubled mind. That's like a 80-20, well, not 80-20, maybe 90-10, I don't know, split there. In calmness, in peace, I think it's worth a try. Because there's nothing like having your peace of mind. Aren't you tired of having your days feel like this? Your days can feel like how the sun card looks every day. No matter, you can have bad things go throughout your day, but yet your overall energy will still be of the sun. Because you realize that everything doesn't have to be taken so seriously. You can you you have the power to decide what stays in your mind and what goes. And the things that can't go or just seems to um, to keep ruminating and, and showing up in your mind, those are the things that you have to learn to give up to God, give up to your angels, give up to your ancestors, give up to your spirit guides, to whoever you believe in. To, to to take it to them. Give it to them. They're almighty. They're all, you know, even your totem animals. I don't know. You, you know, I don't know. Whoever you believe in. You know, if you don't have a, a you know, if you're an atheist, I, I can't answer that. I, I don't know how, you know, I, I just say, I don't know. You know, and I hope no one gets offended by that. I, I don't know what to tell you. Because I've even when I was... Even though I'm a person, I don't go to church or anything like that. I, I did grow up in the church, so I've never known 
um, a life without believing in something. So I can't offer you any answers. Um, that's something, again, that you will have to figure out on your own. And that just may be to my ignorance. You know, I'm sorry about to say that, but that's just what it is. Um, but if you do have a higher power that you believe in, whatever problems you have, you have to give it up. You have to give it up. You can no longer try to hold on to these thoughts because you realize it's not getting you anywhere. And you're still not getting anywhere, but you let it go now. Because either way, this is like stagnation. You know, this is a stopping point. This is where these thoughts have gotten to you. And we're going in almost over 15 minutes right now. But I'm just trying to get y'all to understand what I'm saying. And we all struggle with it. You know, I'm not saying that um, uh, that I haven't gone through this thing. I have too. But you have to learn. You have to get to that point. And I feel like you're getting to that point. That you just realize, you know what? I just cannot do this. And that's okay. Give it up. Let it go. And move to a more peaceful state of mind. So, thank y'all for coming out and seeing me on the YouTube channel. <laughs> um, I am Mama Jim, a.k.a. Jim the Butterfly. You can check me out on um, Instagram, Jim the Butterfly. G-E-M, the butterfly, underscore tarot on Instagram. I do provide daily forecasts grouped together by the elements and a weekend forecast. So thank y'all. Have a good night. Bye.